Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in Via Escudero, San Pablo, Laguna, Philippines. I'm here for a vacation. I think I'm out of focus. And I thought of doing a get ready with me video. If, okay. Am I in focus? Yeah, that's good. Yay! All my makeup. I brought so I got three bags okay and honestly I brought way too much and my husband's over there on the hammock taking a picture of me or a video okay so I already put moisturizer and eye cream and I brought um, a lot of these Derma E um, skincare packet thingies that I got from Gen Beauty event um, back in January and these are really really handy and they don't take up a lot of space as you can see it's just really thin so that's cool usually I use a primer but to be honest I don't know why the heat and the humidity um, it's really good to my skin for some reason I have no idea why like my skin is just feels really moisturized you know Where's my foundation? So I'm not gonna put any primer on, I'm just gonna go ahead and put foundation on. So the foundation that I brought are, this one is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is their old one. And I brought the Revlon Color Stay foundation and my shade is in Golden Caramel. And I've been using the Revlon one. I haven't even touched the Makeup Forever one. This stuff is amazing. It stays on my face all day, all night. But oh my goodness, like my makeup just glides on super smooth, you guys. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Like I don't really need a primer. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. And by the way, we are staying, um, in one of their cottages. It's like this huge um, Nipa hut uh, duplex. And it's super nice. Oh, and look at that. Look how creamy and smooth that is. Ooh, that's the heat and the humidity. Love it. So for my concealer, I actually brought two. I brought the Revlon Color Stay um, Concealer and then this one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige, this one. It's also a liquid concealer. I'm just going to pop that right there. See right there? I think that's my mom playing music. She's in the other room. There you go. Oh! Beepy the concealer applies really, really smooth too. I love it. Just a little bit. Whatever's left over, I'm gonna apply that on the inner corners like that. This is the only blush palette that I brought. This is the e.l.f. blush palette in dark. And it looks like this. It comes with four shades. Okay, so it's very convenient, travel friendly, and it comes with this big mirror right there. Love it. So I'm gonna use this color right here, kind of like a peachy shade. Oh man, the breeze feels so nice. a little bit and these elf blushes are so pigmented it's crazy and it's only six dollars for this whole palette which is such a good bargain the big mirror and I'm going to contour my face a little bit and I'm going to use the elf contour palette and this one is there's no shade it's just says a contour palette I'm going to use this two shades right here. And I'm going to 
just lightly apply that under the blush or on my cheekbones. I mean, I know this is not the best lighting. I'm so sorry, but you know, I still gotta do what I gotta do. Let's see. They're doing construction. Like the swimming pool is not um, available. They're renovating the swimming pool. So I think that's what that noise is. You know what I do too? I kind of contour my nose a little bit. Just very lightly. Dang, it's getting dark already. And for powder, I brought two kinds of powders. This one is a pressed powder. This one is by Pure Minerals, or Pure Cosmetics, sorry. This one is the Pressed Mineral Makeup in Tan. So I sometimes use this, or I set my face with a Derma Blend, a loose powder in Cool Beige. That's the shade. But I think I'm just gonna set my face with a powder, with a pressed powder. Right there. And this brush is by Eco Tools. It's super soft. I'm just going to set my face just in the areas where I didn't put um, the blush and the contour, of course. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So for my eyeliner, I brought my Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Eye Pencil in black velvet, okay? This stuff doesn't smudge on me, so I really, really like this. I'm just going to pop that on my waterline. Just to give my eyes a little bit of definition. And should I do eyeshadows? Let me show you the palette that I brought. This is the only eyeshadow palette that I brought. This one is from Pure Cosmetics, the Love Your Selfie palette. And it looks like this. It comes with neutral eyeshadows. What the heck? There's like a cobwebs from my camera. Um, it comes with neutral eyeshadows. You have your warm browns, taupe. Um, this black if you want to add a little bit more definition to your eyes. It comes with a bronzer, blush, and a powder highlighter. I just take a blending brush and then I just dip it onto, this one is Exposure. This is a matte beige color. I'm just going to run that. This is a stand mirror. Okay, run that all over the lids as an all over color. And then I'm gonna use Capture, this taupe color, and mix it a little bit with Fade. It's a really nice transition color, very lightly. You can hear the birds. God, it's so nice here, man. And then I'm just going to highlight my eyelids. I'm gonna use this illuminating powder, this highlighting powder right here. I'm just using my finger. Whatever's left, I'm just gonna apply that on the brow bone. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in medium brown. It looks like this. I got this at Generation Beauty event in January. I got a really good discount on it. So it looks like this. This is like my holy grail brow gel or brow product at the moment. I've been using it every single day. It stays on my eyebrows for a long time, which is what I want. So I'm gonna use it with my angled liner brush. This is my favorite. Um, the brand is by Kirkland Signature. It's a Costco brand, but it's not available anymore. I got it a long time ago. So 
I've gotten a lot of compliments on my eyebrows here on my vacation in the Philippines from friends and family. So I really take a lot of pride in my eyebrows. <laughs> so. that I think that was a fish dang my hair is so crazy so anyway for my lips I've been using the pixie tinted brilliance a balm in unique pink and it looks clear on the packaging but once you apply it on your lips like it looks clear at first. And then once it sets, it kind of turns into a really pretty pink color. Mmm, I really, really like that. So I've been using this a lot. Let me just brush my hair so I look like a decent human being. going back home in a couple of days man it sucks like we've only been here ugh, less than two weeks you know but it feels like it's I feel like it's long like I feel like this vacation is just long which is a good thing and then I always finish my makeup with a setting spray. And this one is by Makeup Forever Mist and Fix uh, Makeup Setting Spray. It's a long lasting and moisturizing. So. Oh, it smells so good too. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much what I do with my makeup every day. Nothing special, nothing crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and yeah. Oh wait, let me show you guys my view before you guys go. Okay. okay, so the whole time I was doing my makeup, this is what I'm looking at. Look at this amazing view of the water and all the trees. Looks like that. Oh, it's just so... Ooh, it's just so peaceful and quiet. It's just what we need, you know? And since we're here, let me just show you guys a quick tour of our place that we're staying at. So it's like a duplex. So my husband and I are staying in this room over here. And then my mom is staying in that room. That's what it looks like. Oh gosh, it's so freaking pretty. <sighs> there you go. You can see it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.